I said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. We got to talk about what happened in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference semifinals between your Milwaukee Bucks and Boston Celtics. Just a, just a terrible performance. We couldn't hit anything, uh, especially from three. This was just... This was just all bad from the beginning. The first quarter was decent. Then after that, the wheels just kind of came off. We just really missed Middleton in, in this type of game, even in this series in general. And I thought we put up a valiant effort and showed the heart of a champion, but we just couldn't pull through in game seven, unfortunately. But it, it just didn't have to go down like that. Just a few just adjustments. Damn it, man. A different... <sighs> It didn't have to go go down like this, people. It could have just been a few adjustments along the way, like defending the three, you moron, bud. I understand that's the philosophy, but when it's not working, you have to deviate, man. And then too much George Hill. Like, the rotations were all weird. Why wasn't Javon Carter playing more? Why wasn't Nora, uh, uh, Wara playing more? Like, what? I just need to understand. We, we as... The Buck supporters should be able to have some type of, uh, I don't know, panel meeting with Bud for him to explain himself of why he makes the decisions he makes and why he doesn't do what the people want. Because I just don't understand. He's an extremely arrogant coach. And then on top of that, we weren't hitting, and we don't run any type of offensive sets, people. I don't know if you guys pay attention. We don't really have offensive sets. We just have people to, we just do like, bootleg pick and roll we don't have a, any type of plays we run we don't even have an offensive identity we've been winning purely on talent will and determination period nothing to do with coaching at all they could completely remove bud and we would still be fine without a coach he doesn't bring any value to this team whatsoever we have talent that's why we win we we have an MVP in Giannis. We have two perennial All Stars in, in Holiday and Middleton, and we have a nice supporting staff. That's why we win. Let's be clear. And our defensive identity in 2022 is foolish. The identity that he's going with would have been good during the 80s when it was like post game and in mid range and all of that, where people weren't really shooting the three. Now people are shooting the three, and this idiot doesn't see. They're launching like 40 and 50 threes a game, man. Like. Are they going to hit them all? But no, even if they hit 30%, that's more than enough. Bobby Portis had a a, a bad uh, last couple games, too. Just Giannis didn't shoot well this series, nor did Holiday. I mean, for us to even make it to Game 7 it, 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 it is kind of a win, seeing how we played this series. Let's get into the numbers. I'm not going to keep you all here too long. Bucks got their head beat in, 109-81 on the road. And also, my condolences or prayers with the families of the people that were uh, at the unfortunate incident uh, in the Deer District where, where there was a shooting, which was very unfortunate. And that just uh, puts salt in the wound for what happened uh, in this series. All right, let's get into these numbers. Uh, Giannis, another inefficient shooting night, 10 of 26, 1 of 4 from the, free th uh, from the three point, 4 of 6 from the line, did have 20 rebounds, did have 9 assists. Again, with the turnovers, five turnovers, minus 20. Lopez did most of his damage early. He didn't really bring too much of anything in this series. He was almost useless, but he did kick in 15. Holiday, another inefficient shooting game as well. 9 of 21, 0 of 6 from 3, 8 rebounds, only one turnover, and then no one else did anything. Wes Matthews, 3 points. Grayson Allen, what a fall from Grace, Grayson Allen. Oh! You were the man in the in the Chicago Bulls series, and you have laid a complete egg, not in just this game, in this series. You've done nothing. One point in 22 minutes, unacceptable. Portis didn't do too much. Uh, 22 minutes, 4-9, uh, 10 points, uh, 6 rebounds, didn't give us much. No one did anything on this team. I don't, it doesn't matter. No one did anything. This is the problem. Grant Williams shot 18 threes, and Bud didn't, didn't think to do something about it. This is ridiculous. We shot 12% from three, 68% from the line, 36% from the field. We deserve to lose and get our head beat in. 
Look at these numbers, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the numbers of a champion or a game seven that you're trying to win, period. Grant Williams went off, had 27. Tatum, a uh, respectable game, uh, 23 points. He had seven turnovers, though. Horford, I told y'all, Horford back to being Horford, six points. Marcus Smart, 11 points, but he did have 10 assists. Uh, Jalen Brown, 19 points. Then they had Pritchard kick in with 14. But let's look at here. These dudes were 22 of 55 from three. Let that sink in. 22 of 55 from three. 40, over 40% 40 from the field, 40% from the uh, three-point line, and uh, 13 to 18 from the uh, free throw uh, from the free throw line. This game was uh, done on the on the on the three pointers. Let's just be clear. Uh, we hit four. They hit twenty two. That is plus eighteen in threes. You'll lose the game every time. But I don't want to just harp on this. The Bucks had a great season uh, with all the injuries and things that were occurring for them to get this far, and especially with the loss of uh, Middleton. I'm still proud of them. This is just unfortunate circumstances. We do need to make some a few personnel changes. And I, I do want to say possibly the uh, loss of P.J. Tucker kind of hurt us in this series. I do want to I do want to say that. But let's give the Bucks their kudos. They went out on their shield. They played hard. Giannis showed you the heart of a champion. And we'll be back. We just need a few minor tweaks and a new coach. Mark Jackson, what's good? I, I'm just keeping it real. Bud is not the dude. The only reason Bud is here still is because we won the title last year. And we won the title because we had Giannis. Period. Giannis and Middleton and Holiday was going off. That's why it had nothing to do with coaches. Because we don't have a scheme. If I'm lying, somebody in the comment section tell me what our, our offensive identity is. Or if our defensive scheme makes sense. I might be wrong. I might be seeing it wrong. Let me know in the comment section. This is ridiculous. This is just a travesty. We should have won this series even though we were undermanned. That's why in the playoffs, coaching matters, people. Coaching matters in the playoffs, period. But I'm proud of the Bucs. They, they did what they could. They got to game seven, made it. They made the Celtics earn it, and we'll be back next year. It won't be back-to-back, -back, but we'll, we'll get back here next year. I, I guarantee it. It's just very unfortunate. And again, uh, my condolences for the families of the people that were injured uh, at the Deer District in the shooting on Friday night. Uh, Bucks lose this yesterday, 109 to 81. Just they just laid an egg. Period. There's nothing to look into this. They just laid an egg. We couldn't hit anything. We couldn't hit a pool with a baseball. Like I, I don't know. Just I'm just kind of disappointed because I just know it didn't have to go down like this. But let me not drag this on too long, y'all. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, share the content. Gone.